SCP-173 is a Euclid-class object and is the first SCP ever to be contained by the Foundation, and likely the primary reason for the existence of the Foundation initially. The origin of SCP-173 is yet unknown. It is made primarily from concrete and rebar, with a signifying mark being painted in Krylon brand spray paint. It's also known by other names, the Sculpture, Peanut, the Freaky Statue Thing, and the Koitrin. The primary concern surrounding SCP-173 is its ability to move at extremely high speeds and high hostility. It is inanimate as long as it's viewed, but once line of sight is broken, by blinking or looking away it will attack the subject at extreme velocity. It can cover large distances in a blink of an eye and its preferred method of execution is snapping the neck at the base of the skull or strangulation. Interaction procedures dictate a minimum of three staff members when entering SCP-173's containment area. The purpose of this is to decrease the possibility of line of sight being broken by all agents simultaneously. Any two team members are to maintain sight at any given time and prior notice should be provided to the remaining two members when blinking is required. When nobody is present, the sound of scraping stone can be heard from within the container. It's assumed since nobody is watching, it can move freely. SCP-173 is locked inside a container at all times and should entry be required, the room must be sealed immediately after to prevent escape. The primary purpose of interaction with it is to clean its container. There is a reddish brown material which has been tested to be a combination of feces and blood on the floor. Where this material comes from is unknown, but it requires a bi-weekly cleaning to prevent excessive amounts forming. One theory holds that SCP-173 wants human interaction and judges a lack of attention as being reason enough for execution. A supporting story involves attempted modifications to the cleaning procedures of the container. SCP-173 reacted to this by changing the excretions, therefore requiring alternate cleaning procedures and ultimately human interaction. This supports a theory that it wants human attention. One such story states that its creator visited it in confinement and told it that it is his most favorite creation and that anyone who doesn't give it the attention it deserves should be terminated. SCP-173 was introduced to SCP-682, largely felt to be one of the most dangerous objects in Foundation captivity. SCP-682 spawned more eyes in order to maintain visual contact leading Foundation researchers to question just how dangerous SCP-173 actually is. Revised Entry SCP-173 has been found to reproduce asexually, creating two identical copies. It further reproduced two more copies, labeled SCP-1731 through 4. It continued to reproduce at a geometric rate and eventually broke confinement. It continues to multiply and eventually led to nuclear destruction for parts of planet Earth in order to contain its exponential increase in numbers. Incident Report What the fuck are you looking at? John Avery, presently known as D5933, shouted at the other D-class in the cell. SCP-173? What the fuck are you looking at? came the reply. This worried John, as he was staring intently at SCP-173 and the other D-class was standing behind John, facing the other direction. Then, John heard the worst sound any human being had ever heard. A sneeze, coming from six inches behind his head. For a second, John remembered an episode of Mythbusters he had seen before being arrested, before coming here, where they tested to see if someone could sneeze with his eyes open. He never saw the end. There was a sick, wet thud, a horrible ripping sound, and a scream that ended too quickly. Fuck! John managed to get out. <laughs>